How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with a very big video for Dragon Ball Fighters as we finally got to see some gameplay for Vegito Blue. Right at the top of this video I do want to say that I'm taking this footage from Rhyme Style. Uh, if you just want to see the gameplay in and of itself without me highlighting certain aspects of it, please go on over to his channel and do that. He does a lot of videos so I'm sure you'll find something you like there, especially if you like Dragon Ball content of all sorts. Now while this video is going to be a breakdown of all of the gameplay that we saw in this video, it's also going to talk a little bit about what we didn't see in this video, specifically talking about this image, which I assume was either Vegito Blue's dramatic intro, with few Zamasu of course, or it could have been the very beginning of a dramatic finish with Zamasu. I thought it was going to be either one of those possibilities, but one of the comments on that video said, it might be the last part of his intro normally. Like after he powers up and says all right, he waves the finger to come at him. But after seeing the full intro, we can conclude that he doesn't actually do it there. It just zooms in on his face it, almost a little too much. It, it, gets a, it gets a little too close. So yeah, now I'm feeling much more confident about, again, it being a dramatic intro or the beginning of a dramatic finish. I also saw somebody on the Dragon Ball Fighter subreddit be a little bit confused as to how the, this picture of the final flash looked a little more powerful than his normal level 3. Uh, just to clear up any confusion, this is a dramatic finish. That much is pretty much guaranteed. Obviously it has a little more power behind it, a little more of a dynamic camera angle, so this much has always been assumed to be a dramatic finish. There is no level 5 variation, the Shonen Jump did confirm that, so I just wanted to clear any confusion on that. With that out of the way though, we can finally start talking about the things that we did actually get to see in this gameplay. Starting with what a lot of people assumed was going to be Vegito's down heavy, and I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief that it's not. This Speam Sword move is not his down heavy, his down heavy actually looks like this. It actually looks like it's based off the moment when Vegito kicks the Boo energy ball away. So yes, a much tamer down heavy than a lot of people were assuming it was going to be. This Spirit Sword move is interesting in application though, because it does catch people at that weird angle, and once it hits them it transitions into this very interesting turnover where Vegito picks them up and over his head, and you can actually convert into a super dash, leading into some very basic combo conversions. So hitting this isn't going to be too terribly difficult, although it does miss on crouching opponents. Another interesting aspect about this Spirit Sword move is that Vegito can also perform a variation of it while in the air, and it goes down very quickly and hits the opponent. Uh, my guess is this is going to be extremely useful for it when you're in the corner pressuring your opponent, and it's going to be opening up a lot of people on day one, I can almost guarantee that much at least. Up next, let's talk about this other move we saw Vegito perform, in which he jumps up in the air and throws five blue key blasts. Now, by itself, the move is pretty lackluster. It happens really fast and might be extremely useful for getting that little bit of damage you need to finish off the opponent, but overall, I wouldn't be mentioning this move if it wasn't for the fact that this is also his assist. That's right, when you call Vegito in for an assist, this is the move he'll perform. He'll come in at a very Vegeta-esque angle, and then he'll throw these projectiles down. And although the move by itself isn't terribly too exciting, I do believe it is going to find uses, especially for slight combo extensions, and getting in on your opponent from full screen. It's far from being the worst assist in the game, but it isn't exactly going to be the best. At least that's what I'm seeing at this very early stage in Vegito's gameplay, obviously. Moving on, we have his move where he leaps up in the air and tosses the opponent back at the ground. Uh, we see it here, obviously it doesn't connect like an actual combo would. You see the counter turn blue, but it is good to know that the hard version of this move does give a sliding knockdown. I saw a lot of people worrying that Vegeta was going to suffer just like Broly does, where he can't get a sliding knockdown very easily without having to chase down the opponent. But the medium version of this move also works, but it is going to be interesting seeing how Vegito deals with having to toss his opponent in order to get a sliding knockdown. And then of course we have a normal Vegito can perform where he slides across the ground with his foot out a very long... Oh no. Is that you, Gohan? All joking aside, having a normal like this is an extremely good tool, as long as the recovery frames aren't too much of a hassle to deal with. Vegito also has this move that looks like an overhead, but actually hits low. Uh, looks like this is going to be an extremely interesting mix-up tool, probably going to be used as a last resort when trying to open up an opponent to high-level play. The last thing that I want to talk about, or the last thing that I noticed that was really interested me about Vegito Blue is that he looks like he differs from the standard combo route of, uh, going in the air, clicking down heavy, and then jumping after that, jump canceling and getting your basic hard knockdown, it looks like Vegito might be one of those characters where his down heavy in the air doesn't quite work like that. As you can see, he just throws out a knee. And the reason we can assume it doesn't work like that is we can clearly see the players uh, playing these characters are doing that same combo with their other characters, but when they try it with Vegito, they just drop the combo entirely. 
so it might be on the community to find a different way to do that, which I don't think will be an issue. Just from watching how Vegito plays, I can already see a lot of combo potential with this character, as he's extremely fast. It also kind of looks to me as though a lot of his moves have very interesting potential that most moves don't have, like some of the moves he has hit multiple times, some have greater reach than others, you can control how much space they take up. Take this move for example where Vegito Blue can control where that sphere of energy pops up. He can go long or he can go short. Uh, this is just one of the examples of Vegito Blue having more control over his combo routes. Overall I think this character looks extremely fun to play and I cannot wait to get my hands on him and do that week long marathon of ranked. Super looking forward to it. Let me know down in the comments if you noticed anything about Vegito Blue that I seem to miss in this video. While you're down there if you like this channel and enjoy videos like this one make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I don't plan on stopping doing this kind of content anytime soon, but I would love to see some suggestions from you guys down below. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.